these are nine soccer skills that players actually need. So if number one is dribbling with the head up, keeping control of the ball with your head up so when you do have the ball, you can actually make decisions at the right time. If I'm always dribbling here and I always have to look at the ball like this, I don't know where the defender are. defenders are, I'm gonna get tackled. I don't know where my teammates are. I can't play them a pass if they're open. But the best skill to get away from someone is actually being able to turn efficiently. I can lose defenders just by being able to change direction and protect the ball with my body movement. So number two, I would actually focus on turning and changing direction with the ball. I wanna go that way. I don't wanna to touch here and then here and then here to recorrect. I wanna go there in one touch if I can. But that requires body movement as well as the technique of the touch. Okay, so practicing turning efficiently and I pause and I think about all the cool tricks that I'm gonna do, I'm easier to defend. When I just simplify it and my trick is a touch past him or it's a change of speed, suddenly I'm beating way more players with way less effort. You receive the ball and because you're a skillful player, you take all these touches and you think you look really good, but all you do is slow down the game and waste time, get tackled. You don't create anything with your skills. And then dribbling and beating players with simple, effective skills, being direct, not hesitating, not standing on the spot, doing nothing, one touch, one move, getting past them. A lot of players, they wanna learn how to do a triple knee touch, Aka 3000 ultra deluxe combo move when you can't even go a whole game without giving the ball away. So focus on what really matters and passing First touch, taking care of the ball is so important. Can you actually hit your target inside of the foot with both feet under pressure and not just a standstill in practice? Can you do it off the turn? After a bit of skill, can you have quality when you get tired during the game? Can you take care of your passes? Because a lot of us are receiving the ball. It's getting caught in here. I'm having a bad first touch. It's slowing down my speed of play. It's slowing down my decision making. I need to be able to go wherever I want with that first touch. When that ball's coming, you're actually focusing on the quality of that first touch. So many of us were receiving that ball and my head's already up here thinking about getting tackled or thinking about the next thing that's happening before I even have a quality first touch. So really overemphasize where you want it to go with your technique and your body movement. Even if I have a bad first touch, but my movement is sharp, I'm on top of it, I'm gonna be able to play quicker. Can I receive it facing the net? If I'm always receiving the ball from the back line or side, and I have to take one touch to set, one to turn, now I'm facing the goal, I'm too slow. So the next skill I want you to focus on is playing on the half turn. Can I receive it into space or even let it come across me so my first touch my first movement is towards the goal so as far as passing and receiving i want you to think about quality in your passes with both feet take pride in your passing do not give the ball away can you strike the ball with your laces good technique both feet a lot of players are good with one foot but when they get on the other do they have the ability to strike a good, strong shot, good contact with the laces? Okay, so flex foot, technique, foot is locked, toes down, flex foot, strong foot, strong legs, strong calf, upper body is controlled, I'm not leaning one way or the other, I'm over the ball, I'm not back here. When I make contact, I'm keeping strong contact through the ball following through towards the target. My leg's not going across my body or leaning one way or the other. I'm following through everything towards the target. <clears throat> if 
last skill I want to focus on is shooting with placement. When I'm trying to curl it, I'm really trying to hit off the inside of the big toe. I just lose my concentration and I hit it right in the middle rather than off this spot right here. That's when I produce those shots that I hate where you're trying to curl it, but you just end up bending it right down the middle. So really focus on opening up the foot, curling off more of that big bone right there. So now actually hit that spot on the bowl. So actually watching the bowl with my foot until I've actually made contact. Share this video with soccer players, footballers all around the world because this is information that we all need to hear.